As you progress in your training, you will develop the ability to precisely control your aircraft by learning how to execute a number of maximum performance maneuvers. The steep turn develops your ability to accurately control the airplane in a maximum performance turn. You'll perform the maneuver at a constant altitude using a bank of 50 degrees. This maneuver can be performed to the left or right. As you should do when performing all training maneuvers, start by making clearing turns to ensure that the area is free of conflicting traffic. Then continue to look for traffic throughout the maneuver. Take a moment to stabilize the airplane at a constant altitude, heading, and airspeed. Begin the maneuver only after you're comfortable with the airplane's configuration. The altitude you select should allow you to complete the maneuver no lower than 1,500 feet AGL. Although any initial heading will do, you might find it helpful to start on one that is aligned with a road, section line, or other prominent landmark. The airspeed you select should not exceed the airplane's design maneuvering speed. This is very important because a steep turn substantially increases load factor. In a 50 degree constant altitude bank, the airplane is exposed to about 1.6 Gs. It's also important to monitor your airspeed throughout the maneuver and remember that stall speed increases as bank angle increases. For example, if the stall speed is 50 knots with zero degrees of bank, it increases to 63 knots at 50 degrees of bank. To maintain altitude with this increased load factor, you must increase lift. If you fail to do this, you will enter a spiraling descent. To prevent this, smoothly apply power and stabilator back pressure as the bank steepens while maintaining coordinated flight with aileron and rudder. During this maneuver, you will most likely experience an overbanking tendency. This occurs because the wing on the outside of the turn is developing more lift than the wing on the inside of the turn, causing the airplane to roll beyond your desired bank. You might have to counter this overbanking tendency by applying a slight amount of aileron in the direction opposite the turn. When you reach your desired bank, confirm the accuracy of the maneuver by cross-checking the attitude indicator for proper bank, the altimeter and VSI for proper pitch, and the turn coordinator for coordinated flight. As you maintain the turn with outside visual references, you may wish to trim the airplane to eliminate the excessive control wheel pressure required to maintain altitude. If so, you must anticipate the forward pressure that will be needed during the recovery from the turn. One way to help maintain the proper pitch attitude is to select a spot on the windshield that is on a direct line between your eyes and the horizon. With a constant bank angle, you can determine proper pitch attitude by keeping the spot aligned with the horizon. Be alert for anything that might affect your altitude. For instance, if you allow the bank angle to decrease, the back pressure on the control wheel will be too great, the nose will rise, and you'll start to climb. Generally, a small increase in bank angle allows you to return to your altitude. Another situation occurs when you begin losing altitude. If you attempt to climb back to your altitude by pulling back on the control wheel, you only tighten the turn and increase the load factor. The result is a tight descending spiral, an accelerated stall, or possibly structural damage. To properly regain altitude lost during a steep turn, begin by decreasing the bank angle to reduce the load factor and allow the pitch attitude to increase. Once you've returned to your desired altitude, re-establish the bank angle and apply the proper back pressure to re-enter the maneuver. The recovery from the turn should be as smooth and precise as the rest of the maneuver. 
anticipate the rollout by applying the general rule of thumb of one half your bank angle. In this situation, the rollout should begin approximately 25 degrees before the recovery heading. As you roll out of the turn, the load factor imposed on the airplane is reduced quickly. This means you must decrease both back pressure and power to maintain altitude. If you use stabilator trim at the start of the turn to relieve control pressure, be prepared to exert forward pressure on the control wheel as you recover to prevent the airplane from climbing. Then re-trim as necessary. While practicing the maneuver, a steep turn in one direction might be followed by one in the opposite direction. As you begin your rollout on the predetermined heading, gradually reduce back pressure until the airplane is wings level. Then begin to increase back pressure as you immediately roll into a 50 degree bank in the opposite direction. Because the nose appears lower in a right turn, you may have a tendency to gain altitude. Therefore, once you've determined that you're maintaining altitude by cross-checking the VSI and altimeter, select a new spot on the windshield to help you maintain the correct pitch attitude. Practicing steep turns will increase your confidence and ability to control the airplane smoothly. Proficiency in these maximum performance maneuvers will also improve your everyday flying skills.